Hey guys, welcome back to Carter Corner. Today we're opening this National Geographic Zoom Microscope. A microscope is used to look at small things and make them appear bigger. So you All can right. look at really tiny things. Let's open it up. Let's get this baby open. Okay. Let's get this baby open. So these are all of the things that come with this. The, uh, the microscope. These are the slides. And there's three that are already prepared and eight to make your own. And then these are specimen bottles. There's two of the brine shrimp eggs and the yeast. And then three to collect your own specimens. This is to hatch the brine shrimp eggs. To hatch them in there. That's for some of the experiments that come with that experiment book right there. They gave us some experiment ideas. This is the experiment book and there's a Mickey. This is the um, the gradu graduated cylinder, and no, it did not graduate high school. <laughs> so now we're gonna take out these slides and take a look. And also, it's a rainy day, so it's a perfect activity for the inside. So this slide is a onion bowl at per dimis. Epidermis. Epidermis. Epidermis, a thin outer layer on plants or animals, like skin. All right, so that's how you put it on there. You slide it right underneath there, and you center it. Turn the light on. You see the light? Uh -huh. So you put that in the middle of the light. And when you do the microscope, always start with the lowest one first. So you got to look in there. And then you raise this and lower this until it, it looks like it's pretty clear, it's in focus. Do you see anything? Uh, light. <laughs> Do you see the onion bowl? A little bit. Okay, now look. Oh. You see it now? Uh-huh. Okay, now let's go a little more zoomed in. I see a bunch of detail. What does it look like? A forest. A forest. All right, now let's let's turn. Now so we're gonna turn it to ten. That was four times. This is ten times. You might have to adjust it a little bit more. I don't know what it looks like <laughs> now. So oh, good. I see like pattern. A pattern. You see it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What does it look like? It kind of looks like pattern. 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 Now Daddy's gonna getting ready to put the cell phone on there so we can record what you could see. These long rectangular objects are the onion cells. The dark lines between them are the cell walls. What is a cell? A cell is the basic building block of all living things. You can think of it this way. The cell is like an individual puzzle piece, and our body is the completed puzzle. Our body is composed of trillions of cells that perform different functions. For example, a cell provides structure for our body, takes in nutrients from the foods we eat, and can convert nutrients to energy for our body. So now that we saw our first specimen, I'm going to show you the controls. It's mm -hmm. So, this is, these are to make it focus. Yeah, see when you turn this, it lowers and raises the platform. So by making the distance either shorter or longer, it'll help you get it in focus. This so it turns on and off the light. So these are how much the specimen, what? Gets magnified. Okay. And then, what does this do? This adjusts the amount of light that goes through. The last thing we're going to look at is a cricket leg from Barbosa's Crickets. This freeze-dried cricket food, huh? Uh-huh. 
Oh my gosh, it looks like a cactus. <laughs> Has all kinds of little tiny hairs on it. I know. Let Preston take a look. That's a cricket leak. Look in the look in there. <laughs> Put your eye close to it. Whoa. Do you see it? Yeah. What does it look like? It kind of looks like cactus. And you think it looks you like cactus just too? Repeated me. Now we're gonna zoom in a little and take a look again. Now it looks like a crab claw. <laughs> crab claw? Mm -hmm. That's the very yeah, end of the I cricket's see. leg. So that's how they're able to grip and climb because they have little, looks like a little hook almost, huh? Mm-hmm. Preston, what does that Whoa. look like? Kind of looks like, it looks like grass. Grass? Yeah. This microscope is pretty awesome because it comes with practically everything you need. All right here. Blah, 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 blah. Um, it's an easy way to look at things you have. Leave a comment down below of an item you want us to look at in the microscope. And we'll do a follow-up video of top five coolest things to look in a microscope. And maybe we'll choose your item. Stay tuned. Card corner. Support. C A R T E R. That's it. And don't forget to learn something new every day. Oh, so I could like see the moon and stars with this. If it was a, if it was a telescope. Oh, so what's a microscope then? Um, it's it could like only a telescope over there that we look at. It's. That's a telescope. Oh. A microscope is something to look at objects when they're when they're just right here, but you could look even closer at them instead of have to go in like this. <laughs> I want to ask you a question. Raise your hand. Yes, Preston. Uh, so, stars tiny. Stars are tiny. Oh, yeah, that's because eight. they're far away, but they're really big. I can't do it yet. But that's another I'm lesson seven. for another day. Put your eye right on there. Put your face, touch your, make your face touch that. Look on your eye. Look, one eye. Look at that. See, so now we're...